on the same screen as last year's model. But thanks to a price cut and new support for USB-C, this could be a good fit for the right user. The new Chromebook Pixel packs the same 13-inch 2560 by 1700 pixel resolution display as last year's model. Google claims it offers improved color gamut, which should improve color accuracy. The screen is really bright, and a density of 239 pixels per inch means that text is crisp and a pleasure to read. There are two of the relatively new USB-C ports, one on either side. The laptop charges through these ports, which is actually pretty great, as it gives you two options for a place to put your power cord or room for a cord and some other accessory. The Pixel can also charge pretty quickly. You get about two hours of battery life in just 15 minutes of charging, and full capacity, which is about 12 hours of juice in an hour and a half. The obvious downside is that port selection is really limited. You're getting the pair of USB-C ports, a pair of USB-3 ports, and an SD card reader. If you want to, say, connect to another screen and the Pixel can output to up to 4K displays, you're going to have to shell for adapters. The rest of the changes are under the hood, and they're welcome. The base model packs a 2.2 GHz 5th generation Intel Core i5 processor, 8 GB of RAM, and 32 GB of storage for $999. 1299 gets you a Core i7 processor with 16 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. That's quite a step up from last year's base model for the same price. There is no LTE support this time around, however. The low storage capacities are a pain, but an SD card will slide in and be flushed with the side of the chassis, so it could be a good option for extra storage. Now, the Chromebook Pixel runs into the same problem as its predecessor, and that's Chrome OS. $1,000 is still quite a bit of cash to shell out for a machine that's going to lose quite a bit of its functionality once you're off Wi-Fi. At that price, you're better off going to, say, a cheaper Chromebook or a proper Windows or Mac laptop. That said, the hardware is gorgeous and it's pretty powerful, so I'm looking forward to the day when Chrome OS finally catches up. Be sure to read my full review on CNET. I'm Nate. Thanks for watching.